Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Um, I don't know what jerky means. <laughs> That's the trouble I'm having here. <laughs> uh, I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? Oh. No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Okay, then... Hi. This is for saving my own life last time. Uh, but, yeah, you, you didn't look too happy about it. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? I'm going to give it to him, don't no. worry. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Don't worry, I was planning to. He's a good father. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? <laughs> Happy face. Happy face. Uh, Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! And you? Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Lily and... Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah, I was actually thinking if uh, I wasn't allowed to eat something and uh, yeah, I was given the choice, but uh... Uh, I hope it doesn't, this doesn't backfire later. Should I? <laughs> the sticker is still here. Mm, mm. Maybe Carly is, uh, needs it a little bit more. Yeah, I think Carly really needs it a bit more. I'm going to be good to you. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Uh. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Just take the damn thing! <laughs> oh well, that was nice of you, but I'm not going to... I should keep it for Clementine. Mm, decisions, decisions! Oh, hi! Uh, you're up there! I haven't seen you! You know, if I give this thing to you, your father's going to be pissed. He's going to be pissed because I gave you food. Just because I dared to interact with his daughter at all. And he's still going to throw the crackers back in my face if I try to give food to him. So, uh, it's either you, kid, or... Uh, oh, I can never remember your name. I can never remember to pronounce your name. <laughs> Damn it! This is what you get for having a bad name. Want something to eat? If your camp got raided, it probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Giving food to Ben may prove to be an unpopular choice. Not such an easy job, is it? Oh, I forgot this guy! <laughs> 
Hell and envy. <laughs> I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. <laughs> Sorry, I completely forgot hey, about him. Thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. I am completely Still, forgot about that. I guess guy. some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? Oh, I uh, There's dare none you. left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. I'm going to You're one anyway. to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Oh, I mean control? What, what am I supposed to do now? I think I talked to everybody. Oh, I didn't talk to everybody. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be getting. Who? At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Ah, uh, so a uh, hi. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got sixty cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oops. I don't envy you at all. Sorry, I would have given you the food if only I'd remembered about you. You know, because I'm you're you're the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Uh, okay, I'm going to talk to you and then I guess that's it. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. Oh. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. <laughs> Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! Uh She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. No heart attack yet? Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yes. Yeah, give us that. No, 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 no. I mind. I mind. Uh, wait. <laughs> uh. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. <laughs> oh. And that's what you think this is? <laughs> He's so going to tell him. Is that what you told him? He's going to tell him. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> there, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. I was sure I was going to tell him. Wow, I have close Ken, call. Ken, Lee, come here, please. Huh? He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God oh. damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Aww. Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. But... What about the other kid? Oh, goodness! No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Where did he come from? Wait, oh, what kind of question was that? Who is right there? What is it? Oh, oh. Ah, I see. Shit, it's stuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. Kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him. Kick, kick. Punch, punch. No, 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 you're not getting me today. Shoot it! Uh. 
You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Uh-huh. We're all infected? Everyone? What is it? Is I I guess so. <laughs> There's something in the I water? I don't know. I, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Uh, by the way... Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well... We'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the oh, dairy. Magical word. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Sounds so, like a uh, plan. What do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Hmm. Okay. So, this dairy. You guys um, really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Uh, really? You know, it seems like just yesterday I was complaining about... Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, uh, not mm. everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Yeah. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Yeah. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. <laughs> Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? Yeah, we, I want to know. What is the truth? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Uh, Maybe you're right. Larry. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Didn't I kill somebody? I, uh, I really appreciate that. <laughs> I still I mean, don't thank get God it, Lee showed Lee up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, not. why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Yeah. Where are you from? <sighs> I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in the... Who's running things over there? Uh... Kinda. Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people yeah. you got over there anyway? 
Should I? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Um... Shoot, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it there's all for yourselves. Them. Oh no, there's not more. Yeah, and you know what? More we ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <gasps> You. Jesus! Asshole! Um, the world out here has gone to shit. Nah. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Yes, please. I hope he shot him a couple of times in the head. You know, just to. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So it's not actually the bite. That's there it is. St. John Family Dairy. Hooray! Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Hey, that's the same sound my microphone the fence keeps does. Them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. Zzz. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah, me too. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. That you guy never know the rest of the world out. is in ruins. It's worth protecting. It's all the, the juice. I thought Jack. I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Oh, guys, <laughs> this is our mom. <laughs> I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. Oh this my goodness. He's from Macon. A oh, couple of our old hands were from Macon. They <laughs> grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that goodness. one. That place is pretty the vulnerable. Blue one, not the black Have one. You got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Ah, uh, yes, we do. Lily. She's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Thanks for having she's us. She's awesome. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. <gasps> Amazing. <gasps> Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Hmm. Your cow Wait, is what? sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? You're Danny? Danny, are you a werewolf? Why don't I okay, head back go. with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead <laughs> and take dangerous to go alone. alone. Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. <laughs> See ya. No, wait. No, no, no. Come back. I don't want you to, to go alone. Crap. Mark, Lee, Please don't die. Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Aww. Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Maybe you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. Yeah. You betcha. Sure. This place is incredible. <laughs> it's got food. And that fence? And a cow. Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This 
all sounds a little bit too good. Uh, Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they the buildings safe. look good. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. Um. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Mm. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, <laughs> and you find out what you can from Andy. I am really sorry for not giving you food, because I really like you. You're a smart guy, and you seem like a, a good friend. Uh, are you going to get killed anytime soon? I bet you're going to. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking I didn't, around. I didn't even look. All right, keep me posted. Sure. Don't break your glasses. I have my axe with me apparently, and I'm glad about it. What's this? What's the thing? Oh. Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Don't touch it. Can I talk to you? Andy. Hi. 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 Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. <laughs> well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. Oh, that didn't work out too well, did it? An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? Yeah, that's, that's the same good. thing I thought. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. <laughs> did I bet that it's awesome. These days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. Mm-hmm. This is interesting. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mm. No. I'm gonna get yeah. to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Are you sure? 